Oh, hello friends, it's Scott from Plot River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, you get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. I check in with you once a week to update you on my keto progress and try to check in with you at least one other time during the week. Usually to share something that I've discovered about the ketogenic lifestyle, but occasionally to share a little something that I've discovered about this journey that we call life. Uh, today's Saturday, which means that it is a check-in day. Uh, those of you who do follow along in my short videos know that this has been a very long week for me. Uh, I do struggle definitely with post-holiday blues, which I think is something that I can say that I've been struggling with. Just having a hard time after the holidays are over. Um, it's not just that. It kind of leads into my busy season. Uh, as a tax accountant, I am headed right into some very long hours, some very busy time. And so it makes it a, just it's a difficult time of year for me. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of the holidays being over, uh, the weather stinks, and we're headed into a time where I work a lot. And that combination um, makes it hard for me to have a lot of success. It's easy to feel down in the dumps. And uh, so it's been a really long week. Um, do you want to check in with you on my progress, let you know what my goals are uh, moving forward? I know that I had mentioned um, some thoughts uh, or thinking about what I wanted to do for the month of January. And really for this first quarter of the year as I head into a very difficult, uh, busy time for me. So yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, without further ado, checking in uh, for this week, like I said, it feels like this week has been about a month long. Um, I had one day of this week that was completely off plan. I uh, ate all kinds of things that I shouldn't have, uh, that I didn't want to, and just had a bad day. I've been recovering from a cold for about 10 days. I've had, you know, the whole life cycle of a cold. Um, the toughest thing for me probably in the last week or so has been uh, how difficult it's been to sleep. Um, last week when we were visiting my father-in-law in Utah, it was like I would get up at like 2 in the morning, have a coughing fit. Uh, a couple of nights even I had to go take a shower just to kind of like clear out myself enough that I could go back to sleep. And uh, so that just made it difficult. It kind of caught up with me. I had a day this week uh, in, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday um, where I literally, I stayed home from work. I slept in until about 2 in the afternoon just uh, trying to get caught up and trying to get feeling better. The good news is I well, actually woke up this morning and I have a little tiny bit of drainage left, but my throat is not sore anymore uh, and I finally feel pretty good. And so that that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I had one day this week where I was definitely completely off plan uh, for the whole day, eating things that I don't want to eat. Um, so definitely not a good uh, week as far as progress goes. I did not check my relationship with Earth's gravity today. I figured I would be kind enough to myself not to do that. Um, but I want to talk with you guys about what I want to do moving forward and um, had a good conversation this past week. We got to visit with uh, some great keto friends of ours and uh, in particular we were visiting with uh, Chris and Miriam Bear who are the owners of Keto Chow as you guys probably know um, and I was just talking to Miriam about how I always seem to struggle at this time of year um, and I wasn't quite sure. I, I know that I struggle and so I, I just wasn't quite sure what to do what kind of goals to set? I know that trying to be aggressive as far as fat loss this time of year is probably not very smart. Um, but I just was kind of a little, a little bit of a loss. I, you know, I mentioned this to you guys, I think, in the, in the last couple of weeks, but just kind of a little bit of a loss. What sort of goals should I have? And she suggested to me to focus on maybe something other than um, specifically focusing on my nutrition. And uh, she talked about sleep. Uh, and or reducing my stress because I know it's a stressful time of year for me. And so I'm going to take that and run with it. I First of all, I really appreciate um, having good friends and people who've been through a lot of the same kinds of things that I've been through. And I really appreciated her listening to me and her suggestions. And so I give a lot of credit to Miriam Bear for this suggestion, but I'm going to focus this month on uh, my sleep and on reducing my stress. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to turn off electronics at 9 p.m. I'm going to have my evening scripture study with my family. And then after that, I'm going to plan on reading. And I've got a whole stack of books. I actually uh, got some suggestions from sibling today, uh, my siblings today. And I bought a, a new uh, fiction book. It's like 1,250 pages. It's huge. Um, and I'm going to start reading that. But I, I'm not just going to read fiction. I'm not just going to... I've got a, a... Like I said, I have a stack of books that I'm going to try to read through. But I'm going to try to read every day. And I think that will do two things for me. One, I think it will help me to get to sleep because my goal is to go to bed by 10 p.m. Um, that'll help me get ready to go to sleep. And then also, I think it will help to reduce my stress to not have the electronics late in the evening 
Um, and to either be off in some fantasy land, which is what this uh, fiction book is, or I'm going to reread Atomic Habits. Um, I have a couple other books that I'm going to read too. And for the record, I, I did post about this on my Facebook page today, but I also want to reach out to you guys if you have any suggestions for reducing my stress, helping with my sleep, or particularly if you have any books that you'd suggest that I read. I am totally open to um, trying new things. So if you have a book suggestion or whatever, uh, drop it into the comments. I would really appreciate that. Um, but that's my big, the big focus that I'm going to have for the month of January is to get my, get good sleep. So to get to sleep at a good time. And in conjunction with that is going to be to turn off electronics by 9 PM so that I can have an hour of no electronics. I, like I said, I'm going to read and, uh, just try to kind of like wind down from the day and, uh, reduce my stress by reading and not dealing with electronics. So that's my big, uh, push for this month. As far as the other things, my goal is going to be very simple from a nutrition standpoint. It's going to be to stay keto. I'm not going to give it any more than that. I'm going to stay keto this month and not have any more days like I had on Wednesday where I was totally off plan and eating a bunch of things that, that I know that I shouldn't. So I'm going to stay keto from a nutrition perspective, from an exercise perspective, which I know helps reduce my stress and will also help me get better sleep. Um, the kids are finally done with their Christmas break. Uh, they go back to school on Monday. And so it, I'm going to, it's just going to be very easy to slip right back into my good routine. Uh, I mentioned to you guys, uh, right after Christmas that my son for Christmas got me some, uh, things that I can hook onto my boots or my shoes that will help me so that I can walk outside even when it's, uh, kind of icy and snowy out. So I'm going to keep getting my walks in in the morning. Uh, so from an exercise perspective, I want to get my walks in in the morning and get my DDPY workouts in. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to go any further than that, but my focus, my number one focus is really going to be on my sleep and on uh, mitigating my stress levels as, as things are going to get stressful for me at work. So that's where I'm at. Um, I am going to check my relationship with Earth's gravity next week, and I don't know how often I'm going to do it after that. I'm going to do it next week just to get a, a baseline, and my goal between now and the end of tax season, which is the 15th of April, is going to be to just stay the same, stay where I'm at. Um, if I could lose anything, that would be great. If I could lose any fat, that would be awesome. But my goal is really not to put on you know, 10 or 15 or 20 or even 30 pounds, which is what I've done in the past, because then I spend the whole summer taking off the weight that I gained in the winter and uh, beginning of spring during tax season. So that's my goal. That's what I want to do. Um, like I said, I would really appreciate um, any suggestions that you guys have, uh, whether it be for relieving stress, for getting good sleep. Um, I've told you what my plan is, but I, um, I know that I'm not the smartest person on the planet and that uh, the that you guys might have some great ideas that are things that I haven't thought of. So I would appreciate that if you, if you have a minute to drop it into the comments, uh, any suggestions that you have for uh, ways that I can reduce stress, get better sleep. And like I said, specifically, cause I know that I'm planning on reading every evening. Um, if you have any good books that you've read, I, I would really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, that's my check-in for this week, guys. Hope that you're doing great. Hope that you're having a fantastic start to 2024. Um, Hope that you've got a plan in place for what you'd like to do. Um, feel free to drop that into the comments as well. Let me know what you're doing this month. Maybe you're doing a, a BBB and E challenge. Maybe uh, New Year's you like New Year's resolutions and you've got a few. Um, I'd be curious to hear what what uh, uh, you all, my friends, are are out there are doing this month. But uh, that's what I'm doing. So hope you guys have a great week, uh, day by day. Keep calm and keto, all my friends. We'll check in with you again soon.